Well, hello. Well, hello. Last time I told you that I was going to try to grab up some law. I don't know why I'm for some reason shifting that way. But firstly, I don't want to quite know. Oh, look at this! So these corrupted things, what are these? Is why do they corrupt your game? And what is my theory for today? Well, you better get ready because I'm about to crash the train straight through the burnt down house for some reason. So, the first way that we know that this is remotely in any way related to to what I'm going to say is a very bad argument, but when you watch the rest of this video, and next video, which will be all about the shadow guy, those corrupted bits might or not be the shadow guy. And also a little secret that I'm going to show you, because, well, it's a part of this history lesson thing. So, ooh. Why are the corrupted things, like, like, the key to everything? Well, it's obvious. It's, it's, they're not the key to everything. The shadow guy is. Because, let's think about it. The game is based, based all around a shadow guy. And there's two different shadows, by the way. One that seems to be like a sort of child, and another being, well, the shadow guy that we all know. But I'm not going to let that stop me from finding out the law. For example, going through this would bring you here. And then you can see you what seems to be the neighbour's special person that's a very very important person is like okay okay cut to an expert oh whenever you go out of bounds everything's just crazy out of bounds like he, there's a literal road that is flying so and also being like that that hole brought me here yeah it's is pretty much holding up my case. So over here near this lake, there's a sort of music disc that can't be played, but still exists somehow. So as you see, this disc is here, but now let's start laying down evidence that this is from the show guy at all. So, what you need to remember is that this is the exact same neighbourhood. This is the exact same house, but with no swing. It's even got the exact same border, but they now have all of this. And no error, meaning the shadow guy was here. And remember, this is a dream. And the shadow guy was just like right outside our house. Like, we... Like, this is basically the the entire house. This is our childhood house. We fall asleep. We then wake up. And then find that the burnt down house was built back up again. And also, so what's with, like, it being, being the house burnt down? And also, with the final... No boss fight against the supposed neighbour. The neighbour's giant. And you're practically tiny. So just keep that in mind because, well... Well, the thing is that because the shadow guy went in the exact same room as you would have, that means the shadow guy does possess some abilities because he went in that room and also never came back. So that means, means he is, is supposedly magical. Oh, so you're still not convinced. Okay, 
Okay, so, so here's the next bit of info. Oh, the shadow guy doesn't appear at all in Secret Neighbor, uh, Hello Guest, or Hello Neighbor 2. So, well, Hello Neighbor 2 is meant to be like a sequel or prequel. But, but from where I see it, I think it is the sequel to Hello Guest. Because, listen to this. We just defeated the neighbor, right? And defeating the neighbor made like a weird paradox thing. So after the giant neighbor got destroyed, he'd, he, the shadow guy was basically destroyed and, de and then he could have turned into a guest. That's still a theory.